Hello everyone, this is Kurt, and you are watching, Kurt me, ph. For today's video, I will be discussing marine steam boiler components, mountings, and safety systems. For the marine steam boiler, basic components, we have the burner, water drum, and furnace with flue tubes. Marine steam boiler always equipped with an automated burner. The boiler burner operation is automatically operated through sequence controller. The automated burner is fitted to ensure the efficiency of the combustion and safety of burner operation. The fuel to be used has to be clean, and with correct temperature and viscosity for rapid combustion. This is to ensure that the fuel is at right atomization that will turn the fuel into micro droplets for efficient combustion. Temperature is a critical factor during combustion as a lower than normal temperature will lead to increase in the size of droplets, resulting in poor combustion and producing soot and smoke. If the fuel temperature is too high, the droplets will be too small, causing rapidly burning of the fuel near the burner tip. In other words, the automation in the burner operation, results in best possible fuel combustion. The marine steam boiler water drum, or drum shell is a high-pressured container where the boiler water is being boiled. It also prevents the steam generated to escape into the atmosphere and delivered the steam into the steam distribution system via main steam valve. The furnace, or the combustion chamber, act as the first stage heat exchanger inside the boiler, it is where the fuel and air combustion takes place. The furnace surface is surrounded by the boiler water where the heat is transferred to boil the water. The flue tubes or smoke tubes consist of multiple pipes where the exhaust gases or smoke passes to exit the boiler. The boiler flue tubes are surrounded by water tanks as the second pass heat exchanger that increases the boiler water temperature to boiling point. In some boiler, the flue tubes has a third pass heat exchanger and economizer to achieve better heat transfer efficiency. Let's proceed with the marine steam boiler mountings. The boiler steam drum is fitted with internal and external mountings. These mountings are fitted to ensure and maintain safe and efficient operation of the boiler system. An example of steam boiler external mountings are safety valves. Safety valves are always fitted in pair in every steam drum. These safety devices are calibrated and set to desired opening pressure to prevent the steam drum to explode due to excessive pressure accumulated. The two safety valves are calibrated, and set at a different opening pressure, the first safety valve is set slightly lower and the second one is higher for backup, just in case the first safety valve failed to open. Another external mounting is the main steam valve, also called main steam stop valve, the steam generated in the boiler is delivered into the engine room steam distribution system through the main steam valve. The main steam valve isolates the steam boiler and pressure from the rest of the system, in other words, the main steam valve is the only way for the steam from the boiler to pass through going to the steam distribution system, in some cases, where maintenance is needed in the steam distribution system, the main steam valve is needed to be closed in order to isolate the steam distribution system from harmful high pressure steam in the system. Manual air vent is an external mounting that is fitted at the top of the steam drum. It is used to vent air inside the drum when the boiler is initially filled or drained with water. The vent valve also kept open when firing up, or starting the boiler from initial firing and cold condition until steam starts coming out, or at least the pressure in the drum reaches one bar, before closing. To determine the level of water inside the water drum, Regardless of the boiler's operating conditions, the boiler gauge glasses are fitted, and normally, there are two water gauge glasses fitted in the operating side of the boiler. Gauge glasses are provided with a shutdown valve for maintenance, drain cocks for gauge glass blowdown and a protector shield. A sample valve is provided on the boiler drum whose outlet is installed in the engine room, mostly in the areas like workshop, along with a cooler and a valve on the discharge point. This cooler is provided to safeguard the personnel from steam burn and the cooler is normally seawater cooled from seawater cooling system. The boiler is fitted with two separate blow-down valves at different levels. 
The bottom blow-down valve is fitted at the bottom side of the boiler, and is used to remove sludge or sediments from the boiler. Usually a large, 25, 50 mm, key-operated valve is fitted at the ship side, along with an intermediate and a blow-down valve near the boiler. This valve might normally be opened for a period of about 5 seconds, once per shift, depending upon the dissolved sediments in the boiler water. Scum blow-down valve. Unlike the bottom valve it is fitted near the upper side of the boiler drum at the normal level of the boiler water in the steam drum. It is used to remove the floating impurities from the surface of the boiler water. The discharge of the scum blow-down is also connected to the overboard line. A funnel is provided inside the boiler drum to scum the surface impurities once the scum blow-down valve is opened. Inspection hole is fitted on the furnace part of the boiler, where the operator can inspect if the boiler burner is operating in normal condition by visual examination of the flame produced. The inspection hole, is also called peep hole, it is sealed with a packing gland covered with a glass so that the exhaust gases will not escape the combustion chamber. A handhole is a type of small manhole. Too small for access useful for inspection and washing out the mechanism, in steam boilers, it is a small hole for the insertion of hand and cleaning. Manholes allows access to the boiler drum for cleaning and repairs. It is usually elliptical in form and large enough to admit a man inside the drum. The manhole is closed by a plate or cover made out of cast or wrought iron and this plate is held to seat by a yokes and bolts. A drain valve is fitted under the furnace where accumulated fuel inside the combustion chamber is being drained, this valve is useful in some cases, where the fuel oil solenoid valves are not closing properly when the boiler is not in operation. A pressure gauge is fitted on the steam side of the boiler drum together with the pressure switch, and it is used to measure the pressure accumulated inside the steam drum. The chemical dosing, and feed inlet pipe is fitted for filling the boiler water drum and the chemical dosing unit is equipped with metered pump for continuous, and measured chemical treatment. The output of the metered pump is connected to the feed inlet pipe of the boiler drum. Just like external mountings, the steam drum of a boiler is also fitted with internal components, which help in increasing the efficiency of the produced steam. Cyclone separator is similar to the filter which is used to remove water droplets from the steam to avoid carryover of water into the engine room systems. Baffle plates are placed in the direction of the flow of steam. Its main function is to reduce the turbulence effect of the steam and to improve its purity. One of the important internal mountings is a temperator. It is a stack of U-tubes situated in the lower part of the steam drum and is always submerged in water. It is used to keep the superheated steam temperature within certain desired limit in the final stage. The boiler trip-off safety devices are installed into the boiler in order to reduce the risks of accidents like explosion, fire, meltdown, and burn to the operators. Pressure switch is a device installed in the boiler steam drum. It is calibrated in a desired pressure and automatically stop the operation of the burner when the pressure set point is reached. The boiler burner controller is the device responsible for the firing sequence of the burner operation that include the preparations prior to starting until the ignition. A flame eye is a photocell operated flame sensor. It is fitted directly on the furnace to detect if the burner is firing or not. In some cases where the firing is failed during the ignition, the flame eye will activate the flame failure alarm trip and automatically shut down the burner operation. The water level sensor automation is fitted in the boiler drum to keep the water level in normal range, by starting the feed water pump when water level is below the operating condition, and automatically stops when the water level reached the normal level. The water level sensor also activates the low water level alarm when the drum is being drained, or when conducting blowdown, and when the feed water pump is not working. It is also activating the high water level alarm when the boiler is initially fired. The water inside the drum will expand when the temperature is rising. The burner swing out switch is fitted in the burner door. 
The boiler burner automation will not activate when the boiler burner is open, and it also keep the boiler safe when the boiler is accidentally opened during operation. And that's all for the marine steam boiler basic components, mountings, and safety devices. On the next video, I will be discussing about the types of boiler, and boiler general construction. Thank you for watching, if you like this video please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and see you on the next one.